Joining me now, Senator Byron Dorgan, author of the best-selling book, Take This Job and Ship It. Senator, uh, tell us, uh, you, you wrote this book to sound the alarm. Uh, have you been successful? Well, you know, it's, it's not over. We've, this is a big fight. We still have uh, companies that are shipping jobs overseas. And in fact, it's interesting, Lou, uh, the immigration piece you did, that's the reverse side of the same coin. The same companies that ship American jobs overseas in search of cheap labor are the very companies that are advocating in Congress, you've got to have an immigration bill that has guest workers right. because they not only want to get rid of American jobs in search of cheap labor, they want to bring cheap labor yeah. through the back door. I mean, that's their motive. Well, and, and take this job and ship it, uh, in which you focus on outsourcing, the impact of trade policies that you fought, free trade policies that you fought throughout your career in the Senate. I, we see some sign in this Democratic Congress that the uh, sense is awakening. Uh, you have not renewed the president's so-called fast-track authority, which really, unconstitutionally, in my opinion, uh, is taken away, ceded uh, by the Congress. Is it going to stay that way, or are you going to ultimately give it to him? Well, no, I think that's good news. I mean, we have a new group of freshman senators that uh, campaigned on these issues of fair trade, and, and uh, this president is not going to get uh, what is called fast-track trade authority so they can go negotiate another bad agreement behind closed doors, then bring it to the Congress and say, yeah. Okay, here it is. Take it or leave it. No amendments. I mean, that, that doesn't make any sense. All of these trade agreements, I think, have yeah. been failures. They've undermined American workers. They put downward pressure on the middle class. And so, you know, we need to start over and stop all the chanting about free trade and start insisting on fair trade. Fair trade and the, and the fact that the American worker today, as you, as you say, uh, victimized by a government that uh, 31 consecutive years of trade deficits, is the American worker going to be restored? Because, you know, there are a whole host of uh, economists now saying, you know, we ought to just have free labor. It doesn't matter. Let them migrate across borders. It's good for business and global competitiveness. And all those people like you, Senator Dorgan, you, you guys are just protectionists. How do you respond? <laughs> well, xenophobic isolation is stooges, they say. You just can't see over the horizon. How I respond is just look at the facts. Downward pressure on workers in this country, uh, giant trade deficits, uh, shipping jobs overseas. Look, this is a failure. And what we built over the last century, we had better start protecting. And the word protect ought not be building walls around our country, but it ought to be standing up for the middle class and standing up for good jobs. Amen. Senator Byron Dorgan, thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Author Lou. of the book, Take This Job and Ship It. It's now available in paperback. Senator Dorgan, good to have you with us. Good to be here.